You guys, I finally have a finish. Not only do I have a finish, but I finished in time for the event that I am currently participating in. So hey everyone, it's Marina from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well and you had a fabulous weekend and your Monday is starting off great. So I'm excited to start my Monday off with a post review to show you guys. Um, and you can see her right here. This is Myrtle from Diamond Art Club by Richard Lorenz. So I, myself, as well as a lot of other people I know are pretty obsessed with these birds of his. And I had unboxed this because this came out around Christmas time and I wanted to work on it, but then I found out that there was a Richard Lorenz event and I was like, oh, well, I definitely want to participate in that. So I just saved it and kitted her up and was able to start the event on January 1st. Now there are actually a couple more days, uh, four more days for the event to go on. It started January 1st and it ended, um, it ends on the 29th of February or the 28th, one of those days. I forgot to put my end date on here. 25, so give me a second. Okay. So this was the very first kit that I started. Um, I did not work on her every single day though, but I did start her on January 1st and then I finished her um, will be today that I'm filming, but when you guys see this, it'll be yesterday. Um, but let's take a closer look at her before we go over some of these stats, you guys. Now, there was much more confetti in this kit than I anticipated. Um, and I'll get into that a little bit more, but let's just take a look at how cool this is. Now, I was told that she is a chicken because I wasn't quite sure what kind of bird. At first, I thought maybe an emu, but I guess she's a chicken. So there are a lot of browns, as you can see. Um, but you know what? Maybe I should go over the book and the stats before I get into this. So you guys can take a look at her. So um, I have my log book right here. Um, I haven't put any more stickers here, but that's what I'm saving those bigger areas for. But this is Myrtle Ho 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 by Richard Lorenz. And like I said, I started her on January 1st and I finished her on February 25th. So yeah, it took me a little while, right? Um, not quite two months. And I did this for the Richard Lorenz 2024 event that was hosted by Cindy. We all know her on our socials as Schwindy. Um, this is a 55.8 by 70.7 .7 centimeter square diamond painting kit. There were 67 colors and there were four ABs and two fairy dust. And this was my, this is my 10th finish for the year. Um, I wanted it to be my first, but it definitely was not. Um, when I do, and this isn't even a super huge kit, but sometimes when I do these larger kits, especially when it's got confetti, I do need to take some breaks and do some smaller stuff on the side. Um, I actually trying to do two events at once. Um, but that wasn't, I've noticed that for me to work on two larger kits at the same time doesn't really work because I really want to finish it. So for me to pause and work on something else, um, it kind of is hard for me. But anyway, as you can see in the background, there's lots of these browns and tans and there's little splotches of greens. And that was really like in the beginning because I started up at the top. Um, so for smaller kits, I'll start at the bottom, but for this size and larger, I always start or in the upper left corner and work my way down. So that way the kit isn't resting in my lap as I complete the sections. Um, so she's hanging out and she has the Christmas lights hanging over her. Um, she doesn't look very happy and I love her bell earrings. These bursts of colors as well as the ABs going through this kit really help break up a lot of the browns because she does have a lot a lot of brown so it's all in the background and then once i got to this hat that was a lot of fun and then of course with the fairy dust diamonds and i'm going to try to zoom in so you guys can see maybe the difference because there are some fairy dust and some ab's right next to each other sorry i'm finding drills that are kind of i didn't 
I went, took my roller over this, but I didn't, don't think I did a very good job. Anyway, as we're moving down, we, she does have some green and some of these back feathers. And then, of course, we get to this fabulous bow on her side. Oh my God, there are a lot of drills I didn't get. I'll have to run my roller over this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my God, there's a lot. Sorry, I'm just, ugh, bugs me. So, and then we get back in, down into her bodice and there's a lot of black, which I loved. And then there's a lot of oranges and reds. So the lettering, ho, 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 right here, this is all AB, all of it. And then of course we can't forget uh, Myrtle's little sidekick right here um, with his little elf hat. At first I thought he was a gnome, but he kind of looks like a gnome, doesn't he? Even the exclamation point is all ABs. Um, so those colors really helped break up all of the browns. So let me read some of my notes real quick. So we'll start off with the uh, cons first because I always like to end stuff on a positive note. So like I said earlier in the video, there was much more confetti than I thought. Lots of browns and tans, but it was worth it. Now the pros, besides the fact that I love these birds, um, the drills were great, the glue was great, the symbols were super, super clear, and I had plenty of drills. Plenty, 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 and I will show you those in a second. However, this did, t and it took me longer than I thought it would, which is neither a pro nor con. It's just a little note that I wanted to add in there myself for roughly how long this took. So let me drag out the drills real quick. So you can see, um, since I have some other projects going, I didn't want to like take anything else out or start another one of my Elizabeth Ward containers. So I just used that and then I did the filler. Um, or not the filler, but the rest of the colors in one of the Harbor Freights. However, I was one container short. So I just put that particular color in a tray that had a lid on it. And that's what I used for that. It really was not a big deal. So I was not in like fear of running out of anything. I had plenty of leftover drills. So you can see this is all of the black I had left over. And then a lot of the tans, I mean, tons. So some of these I actually am probably going to save because that's so many drills that I don't really want to like throw out. Even these colors right here. Definitely want to save some of the, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to save some of the ABs or not. I might. And then of course this red, that's still a lot. Like for me right here, this is not me worrying that I'm going to run out because I can kind of gauge on the canvas of how much I have left to do based off how many drills are in this container and say, am I going to run out? No, I think I'm going to be okay. So as far as all these browns, these different browns and tans go, I had plenty left over. Now let's move over to, um, what is going on? I've got stuff all mixed up everywhere. That's how I get when I start like getting towards the end, I just start throwing stuff everywhere. All right, for the Harbor Freight, you know, I had lots of these darker colors. Now, these right here only had a little bit to begin with, so I wasn't worried at all. Now, for some people that like you might get down to this. There was hardly any of this in the canvas at all. You might see this and be like, oh my God, I'm not gonna have enough left. But you just have to keep in mind where you are on your canvas, if that makes sense. Now, if I was like, I only had that much left and I was only halfway through, yeah, I might definitely start to panic a little bit. But. Diamond Art Club usually always gives you plenty of drills. Now, let's go and let me zoom you in so I can kind of show you the difference if I can find them again. So, right up here on the bridge of Myrtle's nose. All right. So, right here, that light part, that is the fairy dust. And then the red... 
right here where my finger is, that's the AB. So for me, looking at the camera, I can tell a distinct, like distinctly which one is which, because this looks more glittery where this looks more like blingy, especially down here. Now I don't, especially down here with how shiny that is right there, but it's kind of hard. Maybe I shouldn't have zoomed out, zoomed so far. But even with, even with this natural light, or not the natural, oh my God, the overhead light, you can see how super shiny this kit is. It just looks really, really, really pretty. And it looks even prettier through the camera than it does in person. But I'm really, really happy with the way this turned out. Um, I like the intricate details in her feathers, the bow. That was one of my favorites. But, of course, I saved him for last. Um, I started getting really excited when uh, working on the beak because that's really when a lot of the colors were, would start, you know, popping out and standing out to me. But um, I'm not quite sure um, if this kit is available still. I will link the unboxing below in the description if you guys want to check that out to see what it looked like prior. So I'm not quite sure if this kit is still in stock or not, but regardless, I will also um, link the kit again below just in case you missed it or you forgotten about it and you just want easy access to it. But you guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this re post review of Myrtle. I think that she is super sassy. She's cranky but trying to be festive at the same time. I can officially say that I am done with anything Christmas related or winter um, until the appropriate months roll around. I'm about wintered and Christmas out. So again, this is Myrtle Ho 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 by Richard Lorenz, legally licensed from Diamond Art Club. It is a 55.6 by 70.7 .7 centimeter square diamond painting kit. And it came with four ABs and two fairy dust diamonds. So you guys, make sure, tell me in the description, or down in the comments below, what you thought. Did you like this? Do you have this? Do you like the birds? Did the birds get on your nerves? Tell me what you think. I want to know it all. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Um, I do basically just diamond painting related content as well as, you know, unboxings and hopefully more post reviews in 2024. All right, you guys. So until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your week and I'll see you next video. So remember to be safe and be kind. Bye. -bye.